Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm back with another TikTok recipe. Big thanks to Jacob who got in touch with me and shared this one with me. So Jacob was thinking that this recipe might be categorized in the hard time series. If you haven't seen that playlist, I'll put the link down below. It's a series of recipes that I taste, many of them historical, where people are making things with what they have on hand, making do and oftentimes being very creative. And this recipe certainly is that. It was inspired by Ellis Kitchen from TikTok. I'll put a link down below to the original video. And what this recipe does is take a bag of potato chips, boil them in water, add a little salt and vinegar, drain them, mash them, and then add some paprika and cheese. The recipe does make you wince, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it's that combination of crispy, beautiful chips being dumped into a pot of water that just seems so sacrilegious because we love that crunch and now we're making them swim in a bunch of water. I think that's what makes me have this kind of visceral response. Not necessarily, oh, that's gonna be disgusting because I think this is probably gonna be just fine. We're just reconstituting potatoes after all. These are fried, so I'm curious to see how that fried flavor adds to the potato chips or takes away from them or the mashed potatoes, I mean. And yes, I'm just super curious to know what this tastes like. Also, Ellis, I'm presuming, who's in the video, takes a sip of the cooking water that the potato chips were cooking in, that broth. I'm curious to see what that's like too, because now we've got a little bit of vinegar, we've got plenty of oil and salt. So he claims to say it tastes delicious. I don't know, we won't know till we do it. So that's why I'm here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got a saucepan here and of course, there are no recipe amounts, but I don't think this recipe really requires much. I'm gonna add about two cups of water. We just need to rehydrate the potatoes after all. To this, we're gonna add some additional salt. Potato chips are pretty salty, but I'm just gonna follow the recipe. Next, we're gonna add a splash of vinegar. I'm using cider vinegar. It's about a teaspoon. I'm gonna have some salt and vinegar mashed potatoes. Next, we're gonna add some potato chips. I'm using Lay's Classic Potato Chips because that's what Ellis uses in their recipe. How much? Not sure. They show several bags and I've got one large bag. I'm just gonna add, hmm, let's see. Just because I'm curious about these things, I'm gonna use a measuring cup. One cup, oh, one fell. Hmm. Two. This would actually be a great use for crushed up potato chips or stale potato chips. Brilliant. Three, four. So now just stir this around and submerge our poor chips, <laughs> which were once crisp and they are crisp no longer. I don't know, would those chips pass your up to snuff test. Would that pass your quality control? I don't know if that chip would pass my quality control. There's another one here. Alrighty, so we are coming up to a boil very quickly and we're just going to rehydrate our potatoes. And when they look nice and soggy and mashable, they're gonna be done. So far it smells like wet chips. <laughs> and they are beginning to soften. At this point, the chips almost look like instant scalloped potatoes, the kind that you can buy in a box. Alrighty, lovelies, it's been a couple of minutes and look at the state of the potato chips now. I think we are definitely mashable at this state. It's interesting, this might actually be a good way to remove some of the oil from the potato chips because there is an oily film on the top of this. I've got a strainer and a bowl and now we are going to remove the excess water. Drip, 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 drip. In the TikTok video, they go ahead and drink this potato elixir. So I'm gonna give it a taste too. Ellis takes like a shot of this, so I'm also gonna put it in a little cup. There we have it, the potato chip water. Cheers. It's a little bit like potato soup. <laughs> ah! 
when I was watching the video, I thought somehow it would taste like dishwater or something, but it's not too salty too. I thought it would be terribly salty, but it's not. Pleasantly seasoned, a little bit of tang, clear potato flavor. Yeah, it's not exactly delicious, but it's not terrible. It's like tangy potato soup. Mm. So most of the water has drained from the potatoes and now I'm gonna place them back into the pot. Mash these up a bit. If I really want these finely pureed, I can just press it through my strainer, right? Kind of a improvised food mill. That's interesting. Now that I've pressed it through here, you can really see some of these kind of fried, crispy, edgy pieces that we've managed to separate from the potatoes. Cool. Now make sure to scrape the bottom of the strainer because a lot of your potatoes will be there. Look at that. Look, that looks pretty good. Now to make these cheesy potatoes, we're gonna add some cheese. This is about a quarter cup of Monterey Jack. There we go. It's important to do that while the potatoes are still warm so that cheese melts. And then we're gonna add a little paprika, which I thought was an interesting choice. Paprika to mashed potatoes? Okay, let's do it. Stir that in. Alrighty, my lovelies, there we have it. The cheesy potato chip mashed potatoes. <laughs> Look how cheesy they are. They're kind of stretchy. Alrighty, let's go ahead and give our cheesy potatoes a taste. So transfer it into a bowl. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm, pretty salty. But not bad. I think what's interesting is the texture is a little bit mealy. You can feel kind of a coarseness or grittiness to the mashed potatoes, but the cheese definitely adds some richness to it. It tastes kind of dairied. The paprika, I don't really taste, but it does add a little bit of an orange cast to the mashed potatoes. And it's actually not half bad. It's a little bit loose for mashed potatoes. When I have mashed potatoes, I like to have them a little bit thicker than this. In terms of consistency and kind of mouthfeel, it reminds me a lot of applesauce. It has a bit of a grain to it. The flavor is completely different, of course, than applesauce. This definitely tastes of potato. It doesn't taste greasy, surprisingly. I think actually that the inclusion of vinegar was a smart one and kind of cuts down on any oiliness. I definitely miss the flavor of butter. Cheesy mashed potatoes made from potato chips. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing your suggestions. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and ring that notification bell, like, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>